All right. So we're learning neon smoke for Halloween. Halloween. Okay. So I'm putting it right here. Let me put this aside. Let me show you what we're going to do. The material that we have are super pigment for colors. We have black and white gel polish. And the most important thing, the word famous white ink. So we're going to use that today too. Of course, you have to have matted and shined it out. And I will show you the brush that you're using. So, everybody must have a pigment brush by now. Okay. And on top of that, I'm going to use a 10 millimeters. And the fillers brush. I'm put all here. Let me take my gloves out. So... Immediately, I will show you how the ink works. It's an instant gratification. Remember, before when I say you don't need skill for that, this is one of them. But you don't need skill. So, I have myself um, a black mat now. I paint it black. I put mat on. It's all clear and done with a black uh, surface, with a matte surface. Now, I'm taking out my white ink. I shake it really well. Now the trick to applying this is you have to go slow, okay? When you go slow, the ink have time to absorb onto the surface. Now watch. So I take out my white ink. Remember to shake and slowly turn from side to side. See how magical it is? Look at that. Again, now what happened this time is I have take a little too much ink, and that's why you can see all this right here. It's okay, but you need to be careful on taking a lot of ink because then that'll be out of your control. Okay, when you take in, dip it in, and when you take it out, you just touch the edge just a little bit just to make sure that it's not too much on the brush. I'm gonna go over it again. And notice, I follow the same pattern that I've been going. I'm starting from here, I go to the right, and then I go to the left. However, I applied it a little off, so you can see all this beautiful smoke band that are showing here. The edges. Right, the edge is very, very important. I'm gonna do it again. This time, I don't take a lot of ink out. See that? That's already look beautiful. That is a world famous white ink that we are using. However, I need it to be even brighter in the meadows. If you're fine with this, you can go ahead and apply pigment on. But I need it to be brighter. So for that, I'm going to use a white gel polish. Amen. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So I have some white gel polish out. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the white gel polish. And what I'm going to do... I think Jiggy said good morning, my love. Hi, Jiggy. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, Bruno, do you set me? I'm oh, yeah. so... yeah. <laughs> morning, Jiggy. Arriba. Oh wait, no, she's not Mexican. She um Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Does it say Puerto Rican? Arriba. Does it say Arriba in Mexican? Uh, in uh, Puerto Rican? Arriba. Okay, now I'm taking uh ten millimeters. Okay. And I'm dipping into this white. And just in the meadows, see how bright it is? I want it to be brighter. Usually, I'm okay with just this, but I'm going to apply pigment on, so I need it to be as vibrant as possible. That's why I do this. But now, 
it looking like a river. It's too sharp. Okay. So, oh, thank you, thank you, Matt. Uh, oh, eight twenty five. Hola, ben, bendiciones, un abrazo, bello tu Oh, gracias, gracias. Okay, now it's too sharp. So, what I need to do is I need to take in the fill up root and I need to smudge it out. Okay. Hola, papi. Oh, papi sounds so masculine. Ooh, I don't know if I, I like to be called papi. Ooh, maybe mamacita or something. Papi. I don't want to be called papi. <laughs> okay, so this is a filler brush. Okay, what I'm doing is, you see the sharp edge right here? What I'm doing is I take a filler brush, I go in, I press, and I smudge it out. So it's not sharp. And that's what you need to do to the line is smudging it out. This is my line, okay? So the filler brush, what it do is it go in from the right, touch, run, and I might go to the left and then go to the right again and I do it several more times just to get rich up as much as possible however you don't want to blend everything because then what happened is you have a bunch of smudge you want the sharp edge too but but kind of chaos a little bit is that makes sense you want like half smudge half sharp that is the beauty of the smoke See, look at all the new van that is create. So that's what I'm going to do to this line right here. Just to blend it in. Hola, that's the... Oh, hola, Venezuela. Was a blind dog. Okay, now. I'm taking the filler brush. Dip into the mat. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the right. And then stop. Let's see. Stop and look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, wipe your brush. I wipe all that acid gel. Because if you have too much acid gel, it's going to just ruin everything. It's going to smudge everywhere. You don't want that. You want it to be clean. You want the brush to be clean. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Maria. Kenny. Hi, Alaska. Good morning. Hey, hey, from uh, Norway. Oh, hey, hey. Is that like a, uh, how to say hi from Norway? I don't know. Okay. I like it. I love it. Okay. So, start down here. Okay, the underside. And you go. Okay, you know what just happened. I'll tell you what happened. I went to distract the kid, kid with uh, wet food. Then the and they were so excited and they were screaming and stuff. And then the lid thing broke, and I had to get a fork and open it manually. Meanwhile, they're down there just screaming. And... Okay, now, um, you notice what just happened? I. I run my brush from here and instead of crossing over to the other side, I split. Just to make another, see that? I split. Okay. So you don't have to cross all the time. You can start and you can split. Just like that. Uh, what do you say about the kitten? I'm trying to get him out of here. I uh -huh. got all out. I broke the lid on the thing. I couldn't get it open. So I'm screaming and I'm trying to open it like it was a Cracking a safe or <laughs> defusing a bomb. Okay. Now, touching this. Okay. And then this right here, I'm running it on here just a little bit. See how beautiful it is already? Let me zoom in. to see how beautiful it is. See that? See, get rid of this sharpness again. See, I love this sharp edge on here, so I'm gonna leave it on here. 
I don't want to smudge it from here to here. That would be all smudge. I don't think that's pretty. So, underneath here. Okay. Just like that. See that? See how beautiful it is? Now, you can go ahead and kill that. Thank you, Donna. So, when we uh, actually do it, we're going to do it on short nails. Okay, this is way shorter. Let me show you. This is half length shorter. Just because you work on the salon. So, I want to show you how you can apply on short nail because just because you don't have enough room to play, that doesn't mean that you couldn't play with it. You just have to watch a step. So after that, I'm going to apply it all on short nail. And I'm going to draw the skull, the neon skull right in the middle and smoke on both sides. It is very easy. This technique you only need to rely on product. You rely on white ink, and then you rely on the filler brush with a little help of matte top coat. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to color this with pigment brush. I'm taking now a paper towel. And I'm gonna go in with, you can already pigment this because the background is matte, it's pigment friendly. <laughs> the ink is also, you can also apply pigment on the ink. And then the um, gel is also dry sticky, so you can apply pigment on this too. And make sure that when you apply the white in the middle, you stay away from all the smoke vein because the smoke vein is what makes it beautiful, all the edge around this. You have to leave it alone. Okay, I'm going to use pink and uh, blue. And then a little green in the middle. So I use hot pink. Pink. Mm -hmm. I love pink. You like all colors. Yeah. Especially when it's rainbow. Mackerson said my standards for nail designs are so much better or higher now that I found you. Oh, I love it. Well, good. The goals are being met. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm stopping right here. I'm cleaning my brush. Now I'm taking out blue. A dry clean. Mm -hmm. Just a dry clean. You don't soak it in any solvent at all. Okay. Now blue. Blend this in. You leave a little bit because I want to highlight with a little green. So I'm just going to leave it. I always start doing blue from the pink because I cannot allow uh, the green to touch the pink because that's going to turn out a very shitty, yeah. Very <laughs> ugly colors. Brown. <laughs> okay. Clean my brush. Now I'm gonna dress it up with green. What just kind, to highlight it. What kind of pressure you put on that? Very light. Very light. Very light pressure. When can I get black polish? Uh, where uh, you use is so black. I use white gel. White gel is not too uh, pigmented, which is good because I don't like to use something that are too pigmented. Then your gel gonna wrinkle very easy. You don't want. Uh, 
because now today a lot of gel polish make super super opaque uh super color uh, but however because of that process they have a lot of pigment into the gel and that cause wrinkle problems <clears throat> okay i think someone had a you said not to put pigment on a matte surface. Yes, you do. Uh huh. You well, do. Let me, let me finish the whole thing. Oh, okay. Some uh, you said not to put pigment on a matte surface. You said shine it, buff it. Now the pigment is stuck on the back, on the black mat. Yes. If you want to block pigment from the background, which mean you don't want pigment to stick on the background you have to block it with sand it. Therefore, pigment cannot stick to the background. However, this is a smoke design. You don't want like a chunk of color laying on a perfectly black background. That would not give it any cool illusion to it. You want colors. Look at this black background. You see this? The smoke is laying here. You don't want the color to just lay wham right on it. That's no illusion. See, I take my green, I add a little more on the black background, <laughs> and the color show good on white, better than it's black. So when it's on black, it's very dim and faded. That will give it an illusion that is glowing. You don't want a black surface and then like bam pink just laying on here. It's like that's, that's, it, it's like a ribbon. You don't want that. You want this illusion right here. Look at this down here. Wispy. Wispy. You Not want curvy. glow. So, so like, like, look at this. Okay. See this? Paint it on the white and on the black. You see the illusion that is here? It looks like it's melted. The whole thing is melted in the shadows. You want that. That's why. But it's good that you understand how to block pigment. However, this design, we don't block pigment. We blend it in with the background. That's why I start with matte first. So it's pigment friendly. Then the ink is pigment friendly too. Then the gel is pigment friendly too. So everything is pigment friendly. It's all like blend in the background. Now, I'm gonna use matte it again and I'm gonna top this. Mm -hmm. You're giving them tingles with your explanation. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, Another question. Mm -hmm. I've never used pigment powders before. Does the color not transfer when you do top coat? Like, does the powder make the top coat color or mess up the top coat? It depends on what top coat you're using. Now, if you use shine it, the color will not stick on shine it at all. If you use matte it, the color will stick on matte because it loves matte. So you have to understand different top coat for different... Uh, Technique and pigment, shined it, is blocked, and matte it is adhered. It's love matte. So it just depends on what top coat you're using. Uh, when you work with gel color, also depend on that. If your gel color dry sticky, it have a tacky residue, pigment love that. However, if your color dry no wipe, pigment don't like it. It's like, oh, I don't like no wipe surface. So it's refused to stick on it. So you have to understand different material for uh, different like pigment or chrome. Chrome, my experience is totally opposite of pigment. Okay, so now you have this. I show you another trick. So at this point, you can be done if you, you know, if you charge your client like ten bucks or so or twenty bucks, you can be done with this. If you want more, then you can charge more. Like if you. Me right here, if I don't want my color too bright, okay, I can take white ink and go ahead and apply one more layer on it. And what make it even more wispier, mysterious. Mm. See that? Now you have color and then you have color that hidden behind the white cloud of smoke that even better and that's one important thing that you have to note it is the background I, when I, back in my day when I travel and teach I see a lot of people go crazy with the ink and you don't see the black 
you just see the colors like that. You just see that. That's not pretty. You have to make sure that you leave some black in the background out. So there is a contrast between the smoke and the background. You don't just color the whole nail with smoke. Then the whole nail is going to be colorful. But nobody knows that it's smoke because it takes on the entire nail. So remember that. Now, let's put this into action. What kind of ink is that? This is art ink. Not alcohol. Not alcohol ink. This is calligraphy ink. It's very potent. That's why it can show up even on the black. Because there's some alcohol ink. It refills. It's so light and wispy. It refills to stay on a strong background. So that's why it's word famous. Because it's very special. I have white, black, and I have brown. And the gold and silver ink is coming. Okay. Now. Matt it, the whole thing. Yeah, it does. And the whole thing doesn't need any skill. Doesn't matter if you do nail for 13 years or you nail for three months. You can rely on the product entirely. Here. Yeah. I can't wait for my new phone stand to arrive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, push, post your... Uh... Oh, the website, yes. Let me post the website so you know where to buy. www.tinovo.shop And pins. All right. And yes, you can buy your buy products in Kenya. Yes. We ship to uh, over 100 countries, so it doesn't matter where you are. Wherever USPS ship or post office ship, we ship. Hear this? And good morning to everybody that just joined us. We had a whole good bunch morning. of Yes, Love we ship to the UK. Mm -hmm. So much love today. <laughs> you know, could that ever be a thing? I could make a page and card touch by Tino. Yeah, it could be a thing. My my next page I want to make is a food page. Food page? Yeah, I want to make video of me eating. <laughs> like aggressively eating. I like, think we have a lot of those. It's not going to be normal eating. It's going to be like like crazy, obnoxious. Like you know what I'm saying? noodles things you like to yeah, I just go start out. Start out with this five-gallon bucket of food. And just... I have a talent for eating. You do. You do. I put you up against anybody. I can be a world champion on, on eating contests and everything. So I want to show up a talent. You know, so they want to see you cook. So, oh. we, so, you know, I sit here and I just read comments and stuff. It doesn't look like we do much together, but it's because I can't interrupt anything he's doing. He's like a ninja. But you got to see us in the kitchen. Yes. The night we get down, we go in there like sous chef and chopping everything up. We're very mechanical. Yes. Maybe one day we'll I'm a just machine. set the camera in the back and watch it. Watch us in our element. No, we better not do that because then they'll see that when you got your back turned, I usually sneak a couple bites. And all right. That's where I like to do that. That was what Dustin do all day when I'm, I'm cooking. Is that he keeps stealing food <laughs> from us. Fill it back with water. Okay. Now, um, this is an index. Okay. I'm going to plan the design out. So, this is a score. This is a uh, ring fingers and the pinky. So, the score here. So, what I'm going to do is the smoke going to be right here in the bottom, and this smoke going to be on top. Somebody asked how much something was, but I don't know what they're talking about. Some for your nails, I'm not sure what you were asking about. Probably the pricing of the nails. Um, but ask specifically in the winter. I will, uh, I will tell you the pricing as I go. So this layer right here, I say five bucks. It's fast. Okay. Five bucks. Okay. Now. If they want more, okay, let's say they want some more. 
So if I just take ink and I do this, that's five dollars. Okay, it's easy. Okay, five dollars. Okay, this five dollar too. Cause you just run in, you just run in ink on, or oh, ten dollar. I I drop ten dollar for the whole set because it's so easy. Look, see that? Or oh, twenty, just depend on where you live. Cause this is so easy. You just basically take and apply it on, just like that. Run it on, done. Easy breezy. Same thing on here. Uh, no, the black polish he used is from Wave Gel. It's mm -hmm. not the same as the ink that's in this shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a black polish. You can use um, OBI have a good black too. Um, Daily Jump have a good black. Let me see what. I use it, but uh, a black because uh, this black is not a special effect. It's just the background. So you can just pick up a black on your shelf and just paint it on. I was I would told you I would tell you whenever you hit a special effect like this, you cannot replicate that. You cannot get uh, alcohol ink or any anything that are uh, make it into this. This is a must have. It's a special effect. This black is not a special effect because now there is certain black that you need specifically for special effect. This is not. This is just a background. You can do like dark blue. You can do like dark purples or like pink you can do a different background you can do like um like a silver background you can do even a white background with black ink so this i choose black gel to start the background because i'm doing rainbow pigment now so far this can be five or ten bucks okay the next step you need to increase the price the next step i take white gel out now this you need this specific white gel for special effect. Because if you use the wrong brand, then what happened to your white gel is it, not may not adhere pigment well. So with this white, you need this specific brand. With this black, you don't. This black, you can just pick up a color on your shelf from any brand that you choosing. Uh, pick and polish, couldn't find the homework. It's all over the page. Well, well let, let, let me explain. See, he can he's calls it tutorials, and that's what Tino considers the homework. And we realize it's a little confusing. So what we're going to do is start labeling things homework. Like this, but we're sure. not going to go back and change things. We're just going to redo it, right? All right. Let me show you the homework. Okay. Let me go on to Tino Novo shot. Okay, so yesterday I did this live, okay? This is going to be your homework. You have to replicate this exactly like that. You have to replicate exactly like that and tag me, okay? This is your homework. This is your homework, 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 homework. Yeah. No, not the cat, but homework, <laughs> homework. See that video, homework, 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 homework. All is homework. All of them is homework. You have to do every single one of them. Okay, now, let's continue. Now, I have white polish out. I take in a 10 millimeter brush, okay? This also is a homework too. You have to complete this today. You have to do this smoke design today. Now, I take in some white gels and brighten this up. Caroline Richards um, wants to know where to buy white polish. I would say the same as Wade Gel, but. Yes, Wade Gel brand, uh, white polish from Wade Gel brand, it can adhere pigment very well. Does the ink need to be top coated with any colors on top? Um. The ink right now, if you're done, if you're done right now, you can uh, put either matte on or you can put shine on. But I'm not done. 
I'm not done. So the each is the ink. I'm just putting it on. I haven't put anything on it. Now I'm gonna put white line inside the smoke. Now this step gonna be like ten extra dollars. I'm gonna take a fill of brush. But when talking to your client, don't call it ten extra. So right, right. Ten more. Oh, you can just extra say. Sounds like you're, you know. You can just say, "Oh, go out and my assistant might will take care of it for you." The, the receptionist. The receptionist will take care of your business. Yes, yes. Yeah. We don't discuss bills. <laughs> you just got a receptionist that uh, they expect to pay a little more. Plus, it gives you an excuse. Before one of my clients here, a psychologist, and I say. So after you comfort people and all that, how do you ask for money? Right after a section, she say, no, I don't ask for money. I just send them out to the receptionist desk. That <laughs> is kind of cold. Right. She like, everything will be okay. Uh, and then she like, and, and then what you're going to do? Like, oh, it's going to be $150 today. Especially if they just got to tell you up. How life is chaotic. They lost their job. They can't afford anything. Like, yeah, all right, that's, things will get better, and that'll be $150. Bless your heart. Bless $150. Bless your heart. Okay, so this white gel is totally unkill. Okay, you cannot kill this. Uh, how can you do smoke if you don't have ink yet? Mm. You have to get ink. You have to get ink. Whenever there's something that you can substitute, I will tell you. But this one right here, just because, because the product you can rely on. Okay, sometimes that's thing that you need skill, like a gel pen, you need to have skill, like painting skill. This ink, you don't need skill. You can rely it on it. But because you doesn't need skill and you can rely entirely upon it, well, you need it. <laughs> it's very simple. Something that you rely entirely upon, then you cannot go without it. Because ultimately, whatever process he's showing you now, no skill comes to the point where he is practiced and practiced and tried everything else, and this is the easiest way. Not right, it's the only way, but it is the easiest way. Right. Look at that. See that? Ah, <sighs> life is good when it's easy. <laughs> Again, see, don't you wish you can make impressive art like this? Why you just Chit chat with your client, drinking wine. wine. Versus when you do like a like a crazy line work or something that needs extreme focus, oh, sweat rolling down your forehead. Versus something so easy, I don't even like. I don't really even fully look at it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, snap on colors right away. I saved the score for last. What are you putting on your brush <laughs> Melanie. white gel? Melanie. Uh, what do I put in on the brush with white gel? I put it on a little mat. A little clear uh -huh. mat. Like this. But but don't don't like don't dip it in like that. No, that's this is wrong. Okay. The brush are you are dry and you just you just like wet it just a little just to make sure that it's wet that's it so it's not dry therefore you can flow much easier with a movement <clears throat> and uh like millie beans says if you can't afford it don't even look in the salon and that's something that you have to remember as a nail technician is this is absolutely Lux an extra luxury item. Yes. So if they say, oh, I cannot afford it. I cannot afford to get me now. Then well, then why are you in the shop? Right. It doesn't make any sense. This isn't a Go way. home and feed your children. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I want to blend it out on the black background too. So it can look glowy. <laughs> so the pro tip of the day is get clients tipsy before payment. Hell yes. Yes. Oh my God. 
and just because the nail is short, you have to uh, just because it's not long, you have to um, compromise by pay attention to uh, the detail and make it as as beautiful as possible. Because short nail, it don't have its length to show show off the potential. So you have to make up by focus on the colors and make it fine and beautiful with fine line. Because I'm charging the same price. I'm charging the same price with short nail as with long nails. Okay, because it's not my fault that you have short nails. <laughs> so just it doesn't matter if the nail is long and extravagant or if you have. Short in or hospital nails, you I still charge you the same price. Therefore, you have to make up for it. Lovely two four two says clients get shaky when I pull out the Votino basket. They know the price just went up. Hell yes. <laughs> but they also should know they're getting ready to get some badass nails. Right. Because you know they're going around everywhere. If you do good work, they're getting compliments everywhere. And they may come in and try to chisel you, but if you're better than most in your area, they're not going to get those compliments with other nails. And believe me, they become addicted to it. Blue. I love you. I love you. You have a good, uh, nice sleep. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I did. All the animals stayed asleep all night. It was great. Well. We had a small 3 a.m. excursion. I know. Oh, no, not 3 a.m. We have a morning cra craziness. <laughs> I heard. I wait for 10 minutes. Like, that's it. <laughs> the monster. That's it. <laughs> Keep walking. They just wanted to come be with you. Mm -hmm. No, he's barking at the cat. They just wanted to get the cat. <laughs> The monsters. Well, you know, the cats were kind of in on it a little bit. They were enticing them. You can't just blame the dogs. I love our animals. Me too. Okay. See, my, my stroke is not very harsh. 